know what the application array register is for each variable that we want to uh, trend. I said that we were going to trend the battery voltage and charger voltage. So I'm going to go up here to IO interface and go ahead and open that up. And we have an auxiliary IO in the G4. And here is my battery voltage and charger voltage. So for battery voltage, 7.3.5 is my app array register and 7.3.6 is my charger voltage. So I'm going to go ahead and make a note of both of those. And then the other points that we were going to trend, I'm going to drop down to flow measurement. And one of those was um, flow rate. So I'm going to hover over the flow rate and it's 11.7.19. We're also going to trend our differential pressure, which is 11.7.0. Static pressure, 11.3.0. And temperature, 11.3.3. So now that I have all of my app array register numbers written down, I'm going to go back to trend system and go ahead and put in the description. Log, scan every second, log every second. Uh, we, we're going to do 350 records and we're going to go ahead and add the first one. So the description here on the first one is, um, I'm just going to put in bat volt. And this uh, is voltage. And we've got it set up variable is app array register. We could put in a Modbus request number or sequence number. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that as app array register. And for the first slot here for battery voltage, we said was um, 735. So I'm going to go ahead and back this up, put in a 735. And as far as the trend data, uh, we could do a snapshot, accumulate. Uh, the default is mean. We could do a square root, minimum, maximum, um, percent above, percent below. And once again, hit the help button here and choose the one that works best for you. So I'm going to run with the default on all of these. I'm just going to do a mean and just a floating point. Same thing here. Uh, it could be an integer, could be an unsigned uh, integer, and so forth. So uh, once again, hit the help button and choose the one that works best for you. Minimum and maximum. We could put in a minimum and a maximum um, amount here for each one of the components, or we can do it in the graph after the fact. So uh, if you know exactly what range your particular point you're looking at is going to run, we could go ahead and put in a minimum and maximum. So for example, on this one, since it's battery voltage, I know I'm going to run somewhere between um, 11 volts and probably 13 volts, maybe not that high. So 11 to 13 and hit OK here. And I'm going to drop down and add my charger voltage. So I'm going to put in uh, charger. And my engineering, engineering units here is volts once again. And my app array register was 7. I'm going to leave the minimum and maximum alone and I'll show you how to change that in the graph. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK here. Next I'm going to go ahead and add a third one. And this will be our static pressure. And static pressure PSIA. And I'm going to put in my app array register. 11.3.0 Differential pressure and we're going to go ahead and put in here uh, inches of H2O and my app array register 11.7.0 put in temperature and this is degrees F eleven dot three dot three and the last one here I'm gonna go ahead and add flow rate and it just so happened to be MCF per day this one is 11.7.19. Okay, so now we've got that done. Uh, they should all be in your variable window on the right-hand side. 
we could go in and edit. For example, flow rate is uh, highlighted at this point. If I hit the uh, edit button, flow rate comes back up and I can make changes to it. I could also go in and uh, highlight and delete or add another one to this list after the fact, after it's already been created. So now I can go ahead and do a send and we're going to call this one current values. Okay. So that should have sent the uh, trend file out to the unit. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and close back out to the splash screen. So this gives it a chance to uh, set that file in and we can start the trend at this point. And I'm just going to go ahead and connect back up to the unit. Okay, so now that we're back into the unit, you can see trend system has the plus sign next to it. If I go ahead and hit the plus sign next to trend system, I get current values. That's the uh, trend that we created and downloaded to the unit. And so now if I go ahead and click on current values, you can see I have uh, the flow rate, temperature, differential pressure, static pressure, charger voltage, and battery voltage. And so each one of these is coming across um, on the right, and this is uh, just graph data. And I could also look at it on the grid. So here's the time and date stamp. This is happening every second. It's going out and trending. So I have battery, charger, static pressure, differential pressure, temperature, and uh, flow rate.